Hello everyone, this is Praveen Ahoy. I hope everyone is doing good and uh, happy evening to one and all. Uh, tomorrow is very important day. Tomorrow is plus one economics day for my students and uh, I thought let me do a quick revision so that uh, it will be useful for them. Okay, let me go to the subject. First chapter, first chapter is very important. First you have to know the uh, book name. Book and author name. Wealth, Welfare, Scarcity, Growth Definition. This is the four authors of the book. If you have any questions, criticism, main points, that is very important. Uh, five marks. La, they <coughs> if at all, if they are going to ask five marks, all the definitions or differences uh, uh, means uh, how they will say you to compare the definitions. One, if at all, if they are going to ask uh, another five marks, it should be PPC production possibility curve other than that they will be testing on your uh, one marks which is uh, <clears throat> book in they may ask what is deductive method what is inductive method and once again in the book uh, book le they will test you and the book other than that what is goods and what are services goods uh, or uh, features the goods are uh, or features the good are uh, services are uh, they will ask so you have to be thorough in that other than that you know uh, revenue or the formula you have to be very clear and uh, one mark le, p into q but uh, maybe tomorrow for testing purpose they may ask price on quantity on numbers to the revenue calculate panwa. so anga, we have to remember revenue is equal to price into quantity p into q that we have to be very careful other than that you have to know what is the distinction between micro and macro and definition micro see guys uh, it's very simple uh, macro micro abina micro and the numbers are the ullo numbers are the 6.5 7.5 and the mari edo explain pandranga it's your macro number ela simple if they are saying that's your macro we have to be very careful in that particular thing and nothing else uh, positive economics na in what it is uh, normative economics na what ought to be you know that you have to be very uh, very careful um, other than that your first chapter is will be easy okay please be thorough with your definition coming to your second chapter consumption analysis consumption analysis la five marks very important is your law of demand uh, uh, book in uh, price ko and demand ko in relationship it is inverse relationship because when the price increases your demand decreases when your price decreases your demand increases that you have to be very careful and uh, five marks le, uh, three is very important three the irukku, but three are important maybe they will ask you will not be knowing which one they are going to ask they may ask either ldmu law of diminishing marginal utility or law of equi marginal utility or consumer surplus or indifference curve properties uh, in the null you have to be very careful still what i believe is that LDMU or LEMU. This in the rendele edana one varlam. I'm just guessing up. Uh, I'm not very proper, but be thorough with these two diagrams. If not, they may ask anything, but still, these are two important with uh, uh, LDMU or LEMU. And uh, apart from that, you know, uh, uh, one mark book in every test panlana. They may test you in LDMU. Uh, when the total utility is maximum, your marginal is zero. When the total utility is decreasing, your marginal utility will become negative that you have to be very careful coming to your uh, law of equi marginal utility and uh, consumer surplus and your indifference curve and all A diagram pod solo schedule la enna numbers textbook la enna kuduthirukanga adhe dhaan kudukanu only that you have to write don't write your own numbers and your own number eldana uh, it's not wrong but still when the person is correcting you will not be matching you know ldm ella vandana the correct ah match avano and a total utility maximum or so the marginal utility will be, should become zero you know what i'm maybe there may be a chances that you will do mistake please don't do your own numbers write the numbers which is in the textbook and that will fetch you i i marks apart from the characteristics of wants and that you have to go through uh, other than that nothing is important one last important is consumers equilibrium that you have to be very thorough uh, your indifference curve is tangent to your budget line. So, Agamotatala, second chapter, another important LDMU law of diminishing marginal utility, uh, law of equi marginal utility, consumer surplus, indifference curve, indifference curve explanation, and indifference curve order properties. So, three marks is consumer, 
uh, equilibrium one and your uh, classification of ones that's it that's it nothing else be thorough with these things you are uh, will be getting marks guys diagram should be very neat practice your diagrams guys diagram is very important very important okay coming to your production chapter what i am guessing is either law of returns to scale that is long run cost curve long run average cost curve like at your short run is law of variable proportion idella rendudile edana onnu varanum it should be the same edo onnu varanum that is what i am thinking i am just guessing up law of returns to scale or law of variable proportion idu rendu pacham which is very easy and uh, coming to your this one uh, third chapter la production chapter uh, uh, yes uh, isoquant curve odo properties is also important why because indifference curve second chapter la consumption analysis um third chapter la production analysis um rendu thilume onnu same a irukku enna na inga indifference curve second chapter la third chapter la isoquant curve second chapter la indifference curve here it's your isoquant curve so rendu properties me same tha almost it is same so one chapter pacha namma rendu chapter parcha mari okay please don't forget and the properties nu kekkarana either you should ask for isoquant curve properties or indifference curve properties so be careful either one you will get for 3 marks be careful in that and law of returns to scale and law of variable proportion you may get for 5 marks uh, apart from that uh, be careful with your uh, factors uh, land labor capital entrepreneur adoda entrepreneur oda functions is very important be careful with that so uh, and the main points you have to be very thorough Uh, other than that uh, chapter is third chapter is katham katham it will be over okay coming to your fourth chapter cost and revenue analysis cost and revenue analysis is once again a uh, easiest chapter be thorough with your uh, short run average cost curve nammalku uh, rendu important one is uh, short run average cost curve or long run average cost curve. what i am guessing is short run average cost curve nee enna pannona periya diagram potu table potu ఫిక్స్డ్ కాస్ట్ వేరియబుల్ కాస్ట్ టోటల్ కాస్ట్ యావరేజ్ ఫిక్స్డ్ కాస్ట్ యావరేజ్ వేరియబుల్ కాస్ట్ యావరేజ్ కాస్ట్ అండ్ ఆరు డయాగ్రామ్ అండ్ ఆరు టేబ్ టాబ్లెట్ కాలమ్ పోట్ అండ్ ఆరు డయాగ్రామ్ బై సీయింగ్ యూర్ నంబర్స్ ఇఫ్ యూ కెన్ డూ దాట్ క్లియర్లీ యూ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు గెట్ ఫైవ్ మార్క్స్ అండ్ అపార్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ దట్ త్రీ మార్క్స్లో ద రిలేషన్షిప్ బిట్వీన్ యువర్ ఎంసీ అండ్ ఏసీ దట్ యూ హీ వెరీ కేర్ఫుల్ అండ్ దట్ ఈస్ ఫర్ యువర్ త్రీ మార్క్స్ inga ninga you have to be little thorough in your uh, formula because they may give one one mark on your uh, formulas they may ask they will give something and you have to be very thorough let me go and revise your formulas uh, total cost is equal to fixed cost plus variable cost fixed cost is equal to total cost minus variable cost variable cost is equal to total cost minus fixed cost and average fixed cost is equal to total fixed cost by quantity average variable cost is equal to total variable cost by quantity average cost is equal to total cost by quantity average cost ke there are two formulas one is total cost by quantity or average fixed cost plus average variable cost uh, in the formula you have to be very thorough ena adu rendu formula irukku they may test you on this so be careful with your average cost formula I repeat average cost ke there are two formulas <coughs> one is total cost by quantity one or average fixed cost plus average variable cost uh, that's it about your uh, four chapter and uh, be thorough in your uh, revenue uh, how to calculate revenue when the price is constant when the price varies anga you have to be very very thorough uh, price constant or solo what will be your marginal revenue and average revenue both are same anga konja we have to be little thorough apart from that uh, other things are easy uh, nothing important uh here and there and the types of concept like explicit implicit and that your sunk cost is very important just go through your two marks book back other uh, that's enough and five marks to short run average cost curve in the you know on one mark book in every cake lana long run average cost curve is also called planning curve plant curve envelope curve boat shape curve i repeat your long run average cost curve is also known as planning curve plant curve envelope curve and your boat shaped curve you have to be very careful in this because they will be asking for one mark and apart from this uh, yes nothing else is important 
be careful with your short and average cost curve with regards to your fourth chapter and uh, uh, long run average cost curve at the diagram paranga all the three marks la average cost uh, the relationship between your average cost and marginal cost that's it coming to your market structure fifth chapter which is very 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 important you may get two either one in the rendered lay no one or no perfect competition or monopoly monopolistic or irk but maybe they will not give monopolistic b the two diagrams you have to be very thorough guys price and output determination you have to be very careful with your perfect competition and uh, monopoly on the end uh, b thorough either one you will get prepare well and it's very easy just go through the textbook points um, and you will understand definitely when the end uh, you go through uh, other than that you know nothing else is important in the end la edana on perfect competition or monopoly that that is the only thing you have to study nothing else okay um, apart from that you know uh, uh, 